you can see how high I got. Bob and Francis Michelson are thankful. Um, this depth right there. The water from last week's flood didn't go any higher. I said uh, to my wife, go check the utility room. All of a sudden I hear, oh my God, <laughs> you know, and yeah. I, about it two went, feet in the utility room. And then our washer began to float. The water spared their house, their neighbors. Now rowing through their yards, though, weren't so lucky. But appliances, furniture, and countless other memories now bagged and left at the curb. Some things that meant a lot at the time, but now you just have to say, too bad. And it's not just Bob and Francis. Several houses have piles just like this lined up on the curb. That's where groups like Loving come in. Two more down here. Handing out cleanup kits as fast as they can grab them. Masks, gloves, bags. They're a Racine County nonprofit, but they saw the need in Kenosha County tonight. They are not in our county, but they are still flood victims. It's very important that these people know that people are here to help. We are here to help. I'll tell you, that's when you really realize things. When when people say, hey, what can we do? The Michelsons didn't need Loving's help tonight, but many others did. Truckloads of help for a community working to clean up. In Kenosha County, Ben Wagner, WISN 12 News.